Good day, YouTubers. Day off with the hanging six more rafters. So a little bit of layout work to do there. And on this side. And we get down to That blue mark is a center, so shouldn't have to do anything there. We might have to notch that little button. That old rotten board is a existing roof rafter, or truss, and I got a scab on there that's about four foot long. No, she goes pretty smooth. Over here, I got two I want to do. One of them, I'm going to mount horizontally on the wall there, notch it around that conduit. Then I got to take these four little cripples out of the way so I can get it up high enough. And then. The last rafter goes there where that blue mark is, and that's going to be the one that I got a little problem with. That 16 inch centers from one to the next, and because this is the beginning of the new decking, I need to try to stay on center. So, the rotten board there is the roof truss, and the other one is the scab, and both of them are in the way to be on center, the center of the new rafter. So, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that yet. I might cut off the bottom of that scab and a little bit of the rough truss and then notch the new rafter to fit around it. It's a little more work than I want to do but I think that's the best thing. That way everything still sets on something and it stays on line with what I need for center. So I probably won't do that one today. I might get to it but I don't know. The main thing is getting these six new ones up. I got them all pre-cut with the notch in there for hanger. These things are like a puzzle. That notch is at a little bit of an angle you can see. So that this will be flush here and all the weight will set on that there. And all of them are not ready to go. <coughs> and that takes care of the end on the house side. The other end is already pre-cut at that angle. And we actually install the hanger as we're setting the rafter in place because I can't raise the rafter up and set it into the hanger with that existing roof line 
stopping me from going up any higher. So we have to install that as we set the rocker. All kind of fun little problems. But anyway, my dad's going to come over and help today. And I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on my progress. And I'm going to do some filming more this afternoon after he leaves. And uh, we'll make a video out of it we can post. So you can see how far I've got along here. And uh, once you get the first one, the other ones go a little easier. And uh, I've double checked my measurements to make sure that I'm not losing or gaining anything as we come this way. And it looks like a, about a quarter inch difference from the end down there to this end here with a quarter inch isn't enough to worry about so I've been cutting these a little longer than I need to in case they're short they're not going to be short because I cut them a little longer and I can shave them off as I need to when we do the install So, give you a good heads up where we're at and what we're going to do today. I moved all this stuff out of the way because you would be able to get the ladders in on both sides. So I got the deck cleared off, ready to go to work. So, See you guys later. I said earlier my dad was going to come over and uh, help me finish this up. We got all the rest of the rafters installed. And uh, Everything plumbed up really good. That sun's just now coming out, so it's a good time to quit. I'm going to save that last board for putting on the wall there and make that level with the block. And that'll give me some wood to cripple into because I've got to make a small angle off of this roof line that'll terminate out there somewhere around that door frame edge after we put all the decking on this side. But this was the hard one. You can see we notched out the rafter and we notched out the roof truss so that decking it didn't get the integrity of the decking didn't get changed. And then I'm gonna put some wedges in on top of these other rafters onto the decking later on. To make it even stronger for the existing decking of the roof. A lot of them old rafters in the roof trusses are rotted out on the end here because we bought this house, it was sitting empty for seven years. And uh, this end, the soffit was all gone, and the rain and weather was just coming in. And it messed it up bad, so we had to put all new sheetrock inside and blew in new insulation in the attic after we got everything fixed up. It was a mess for a while. So I'm staying here by the wall because the sun will mess up my filming. So uh, 
we got the hard part done today. Dad was a great help. He's up in his 80s, so he's still able to go up and down the ladder a few steps at a time and help hold something while I screw stuff in. But that made the difference because you can imagine doing that long board by yourself. It is not easy. So he made it where we accomplished a, a great deal. And of course I dropped my cheap square, busted it, and I dropped my cheap level. I think I got this at the dollar store. I've had this one for like 10 years. <laughs> it's kind of hard to break an aluminum one, but this thing broke as soon as it hit the ground. This was a little trick. We use this board and a level to mark where that cut is on the truss of the house, the existing truss. We made a level mark on there from inside the attic, made a level mark, cut it, and use this set up there beside it marked it and that told me where my new rafter butts into the wall with that board and it told me where the top of the roof deck was so or the bottom of the roof deck the top of the rafter so then we could cut this out after we marked it and use it as a template to lay on that rafter and mark and cut it out and that was a little trick sacrifice a piece of wood to get that cut right and uh, I think it came out really good because I didn't want to I didn't want to cut all that wood away from underneath like these other ones lined up in the 16 inch centers where I didn't really hit any of the existing rafters, but that one down there didn't, so we had to do something different. This was the only one that was close, other than that one there, so we got her done. So it's time to clean up and eat lunch. This is my bag of hangers. I got two spares there. And I think I got like 12 or 14 of these. We got to put these on the Do them on the outside, I think. Yeah, they'll be on the outside. They'll be fun. Flush there. I've got a bunch of them to put on. Special nails for that. Those are sort of like hurricane ties. We got all that stuff screwed into these posts and everything, but those make it extra secure. Mr. Mufasa, the construction dog, was out here the whole time. He didn't get in the way too much. I don't know where he's at now. But he always makes for interesting content on the videos. A lot of people like dogs. Oh, he's 
talking. He's talking now. I don't see nobody out there. It's <laughs> barking at a squirrel or something. So, we had really good progress today. It's another big milestone in the construction. Now I gotta sit down and make a new list of materials. I got two by fours. That's something I haven't shown y'all. I got two by fours for the um, knee wall that's going to be in here. And uh, other than that, I got the one board left. That's about it for materials. But you can see this porch here. We built this several years ago. This is a regular carport, and it used to be all open. And uh, this is concrete board. I think it's a quarter inch thick concrete board and it looks like wood on the outside. It's got a wood effect to it. And then we used one by two to uh, box it in, make a frame on the outside and the inside with some one by two. And then painted it. So it's just sitting in there like a hard panel and it's never going to rot or anything. And uh, that's what I mean by a knee wall. And I think when the construction goes on in the back, I'm going to make this shelf a little bigger or wider than this one is. And then the screen comes in a, a roll that's five foot wide. So it has a track. And the track screws on, the black part there screws on. And then you roll the screen into the groove, and then you snap this cover on after you're done with putting the screen on. The cover covers up the groove and the track and everything. And it looks really good. Came out really nice. We'll use that same um, effect in the back to screen in the whole back room in a hard deck shingle roof. So if I get some, I have 2 by 4 for the base, and then I'll we'll probably have some one by 8 or something, pretty wide, and curved the corners. So we got a nice wide shelf for setting plants and stuff on. And then the screen, so this is the widest opening here, I think it's like just a little more than 4 feet. So that's plenty enough for the screen because it's 5 foot wide. And that's one of the reasons I put two posts here instead of one, because that was more than five feet. And I want to be able to screen this in, so that split it up, putting the two posts there. And of course, that'll be a door, and this will be the other door. And of course, when the room is ready, and I got most of the screening done, and I got that door on, which I'll have to buy... I'm going to move this door over there. Yeah, and I'm going to buy another aluminum door like I have in the front. Because the aluminum door is going to get used more than this wooden door. And we'll move this wooden door over here. And that's the one that Mr. Mufasa uses to get in and out all the time. So usually goes that way when he comes out here anyhow so that'll be fitting to put that door there and then that'll be all open take all that screen out and the framing out that'll be an open breezeway and this will all be screened in and of course we got some lighting to put up in here and a ceiling fan I gotta do a lot of cripple blocking I'm gonna uh, 
these are 12 foot long so every four feet three of them I'm gonna put three cripples in in between all these that'll give it a little more rigidity and uh, sort of look more like a pergola on the inside and then we're thinking about a whitewash stain Thompson's water seal whitewash stain I don't know that's not good decided yet but this is a light blue uh, the ceilings the only thing I'm probably do the light blue on all the posts and everything but the ceilings what I'm debating on whether or not to whitewash it or not so thank you guys for watching you made good progress today and uh, I'll try to film next time when I'm working alone I don't have luxury of filming when my dad's here he doesn't want to be on camera I don't blame him he still has a flip phone <laughs> yeah they still have a landline in their house Makes it easy to haul everything in all at one time. All that wood in the wagon there is uh, regular pine, not pressure treated, so I'm going to have to put it up in the loft up here. And I was using that for bracing when we did the posts. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.